Hey, what's up guys? Jason from Thinline Defense and today we're going back into the subscription box world with a subscription box that might be worth your money. Alright guys, so we are talking about Medic Box, a tactical medical gear that gets shipped to you monthly and it's stuff that you would actually use. Now, those of you that have watched the channel for a while have probably seen my old series of subscri subscription boxes that were tactical related, tack packs, battle box, things like that. And kind of what I took out of those was, yeah, some of the stuff was cool, some of the stuff you would use, but a lot of the stuff I would never go out and try to purchase. And so when comparing what I would buy versus what I wouldn't buy, it just didn't seem worth my money. So Medic Box kind of flips that on its head and gives you actual medical gear that you're gonna be buying anyways to put together your IFAC, a vehicle bag, or a kit for your family. Now, like most subscription boxes, there's a regular plan and a pro plan. So I have the first two months of the pro box. I'm gonna show you what comes in the regular box for the month and what comes in the uh, pro box for the month. And really what it boils down to is you kind of get one high dollar item in the pro box and that's what, what makes it cost a little bit more. So first thing I want to talk about is the card that comes with it. It just goes over the stuff that comes with the regular kit. On the back it shows what comes on the pro kit. And they have this thing that they call their medic box journey and I really love how they've designed this subscription box program. So the first three months gives you the stuff that you need to build a duty IFAC. The next three months gives you stuff to put into a vehicle kit, something that you're gonna have with you every, every day, but a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust. Phase three is an EDC, and then phase four is, is your home kit. So it's not like you're gonna be getting the same stuff every, every month, you're gonna be getting stuff to build upon and to really to help yourself maybe those that you work with and your family. All right, so the first item that I wanna talk about is the pouch that you will hold everything in if you want to. Uh, this is honestly my least favorite thing in the, the first month of the subscription box. The pouch is well built, it has really good organization inside. You do have the ability to mount it onto a belt. You know, your, your belt will go through this. Um, it does have Molly attachments. But it's not a tearaway, and I really like my IFAC pouches to be tearaway pouches. I think this would be good to put everything in here and then throw it into a backpack, something that you're not gonna have on your person, but something that maybe you'll have as part of your EDC kit. I know this is kind of the, the IFAC box, but uh, that's really my only negative that I have about the first box and about this pouch specifically, no tearaway feature. All right, next is a four inch emergency bandage. I know some people refer to these as Israeli bandages. This is really good for stopping blood, giving some pressure point on, um, you know, a, a direct pressure applicator to, to put pressure onto whatever wound you might have. Um, I like the four inch over the six inch just because it's a little bit smaller. You can carry more of these in a backpack than you could the six inch. And I've never seen a wound that re would require the six inch, four inch. I feel like can, can tackle most of, most of what you're gonna see. Uh, it is sterile. There is an expiration date on this. 2031, so this is gonna be good for quite a while. So, emergency bandage. So next item in the box is gonna be your chest seal. Now these are the hyphen um, compact, so it comes in a two pack, there's two chest seals here. These are smaller, again, I like these over the other hyphens just because they are compact. Uh, typically when you buy these, it comes with two chest seals versus one. It's vented, which a lot of people care about. Uh, and it's just kind of, you know, a lot of law enforcement agencies, this is what you're getting issued. You're getting a, a hyphen chest seal. I mean, there's other ones that are out there, but the ones that I've been issued are, are these. Um, another expiration on here, 2029. But again, I think we're, we're looking at a good IFAC setup so far. Chest seal, Israeli bandage. Let's see what we got next. All right, next is some new stat hemostatic gauze. There's Articles that you can read online about the effectiveness of hemostatic gauze versus regular gauze. I think some studies have shown that regular gauze works just as well as hemostatic. I think 
if I were going out and going to be buying gauze, I would probably spring for the hemostatic gauze, Sealox or um, Quick Clot, uh, Neustat. I, this is actually my second pack of Neustat gauze. So again, we're, we're talking about um, hemorrhage control, you know, massive bleeding. This is something that you can use to help stop the bleed. Expiration down here, 2029. So again, we're looking at something that's going to be lasting in your kit for or at least the next five years, which is nice. All right. So last thing in the, in the regular box is the medic box PVC patch. Just kind of what you see on the box. It says medic box, tactical, medical gear monthly. I'm a patch whore, so that's why I actually like this more than the pouch that you could put all this in. But you know what? I have IFACs that I that I actually like, like the pouches. So a lot of this stuff's gonna be going into those for my, my belt mounted kits and things like that. All right, so everything that I showed you, that's, that's what you get in the regular box. Now, the one item that comes if you were to go for the Pro Box, and this is, I think this comes in every if, if you buy the Pro Box, the very first box that you're gonna get, you're gonna get a, a pair of the SOG Parashears. Um, so I've never used these before. I think most of the shears that I have in my kits are your typical five bucks shears. I've heard good things about these though. I've, I've heard that they've, they've lasted quite a while. I've talked to one of our viewers who's a combat medic who uh, had really good things to say about this. It does come with a little pouch a nylon pouch. I think they make some Kydex pouches for these that people really love, but Pro Box, SOG Parashears. So that's everything in the first month box that you're going to get. Again, the Pro Box gives you those SOG Parashears. And if I didn't say it before, I could say it now, we do have a discount code. TLDCO will save you $10 off your first box. We really appreciate Medic Box offering that for our viewers. So if you're interested in checking these, these uh, subscription boxes out, TLDCO will save you $10 off your first box. All right, so one last thing I forgot to mention, if you sign up for the subscription boxes, there is an opportunity to sign up for the Medic Box Academy, which um, if you are an Academy member and you sign up for the subscription boxes, every box will give you access to a class. So the first month class is a tactical trauma care um, they kind of go over basic casualty assessment and how to how to uh, how to render aid using the March acronym, which I'm an adult. I don't remember what it stands for right now. At least, yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Um, but it goes over the the what is it T triple C routine for treating treating people. Um, so yeah, box number one, awesome. Everything that that came in this box. Um, will be used. So that's a huge plus over any of the other tactical subscription boxes that we've seen on this channel in the past. Now let's take a look at what comes in the second month box. Month one was pretty good. The only thing that was missing that I would say would be a tourniquet of some sort. Month number two, again, we're gonna go over what's in the regular box first and then I'll show you what comes with the pro box later. But the first item, a cat tourniquet, yeah, like a genuine cat tourniquet. Yeah, who to, who to thunk. Um, so, awesome. I think cat tourniquet is the industry standard. Is it my favorite tourniquet that's that's authorized under the TCCC? No, there's other ones that I like more, but this is definitely the most tried and tested. I think I heard a number somewhere during the global war on terror, about 20,000 of these were used. Um, so. I've, I've been issued these in law enforcement. I was issued these in the military. Fantastic tourniquet, super easy to use, super easy to set up. Awesome, awesome addition to our IFAC. All right, item number two is a glove pouch from Condor. Now, I really like this glove pouch. First of all, I like having glove pouches on my plate carriers for law enforcement type purposes. I use gloves a lot during warrants and things like that. Um, I'll show you this when we get onto the bench, but I really like how this glove pouch is set up, how you kind of have an area that you can pull gloves out like tissue, and there should be one behind it. It holds a decent amount of gloves. There's an ability for you to mount it to your, your Molly or your Pels, whatever you want to call it. Um, Condor's name, uh, I don't think has a great reputation. I have some Condor stuff. Some stuff has held up 
for years. I have a plate carrier with still plates on it that I use to work out. I've had that thing for like eight years. No issues with it at all. I had a rifle pouch. I think the first time I went to go put any stress on it, the, the excuse me, a rifle bag, the, um, the, the stitching just came right undone. So hit or miss my experience with Condor. I've heard they've gotten better. So last time I bought one was eight years ago. Um, but this feels really well built. Looking at the stitching, the stitching looks really good. Yeah, so Condor glove pouch. Nice little addition. Next item, and again, this is month two for the medic box, is compressed gauze. Now, in the first box, we had new stat hemostatic gauze. And again, I think this is like super cheap compared to hemostatic. You're talking, I don't know, four to seven dollars for compressed gauze. But the hemostatic gauze is good to, to kind of be the initial thing to pack into the wound and then use your compressed gauze on top of that to get more pressure or more gauze into the wound. So I'm glad that it comes with this. Uh, I don't think, uh, it does have an expiration date, 2028. So compressed gauze. Next thing in the kit, this is month two, is duct tape. Flat, a flat roll of duct tape. I love how compressed this is and how small it is and how easy it'll be able to fit into the pouch or into your IFAC. Duct tape can work a lot of wonders when you're trying to make sure that stuff is adhering where you want it to adhere when rendering first aid. Um, securing bandages, reinforcing compression. There's just tons of uses in the first aid world for duct tape. And so, and I love that it's packed flat. It makes it easier to fit into your IFAC pouch. So duct tape. Okay, next item in the month two box, just some stainless steel trauma shears. So if you are a pro box subscriber, you really don't need these. You got those SOG power, sh power shears, whatever they're called, in the, in the first box. But uh, I don't have just one IFAC. I switch belt to belt and I don't want to be switching my shears from belt to belt. So it's always nice to have another pair of, of shears. Also, if you decide not to spring for the pro box and you just want the regular box, well, box two, you're going to get some shears, which is an always, it's always a great thing to have to remove clothing from someone that you might be helping or yourself. So even if you don't spring for the pro box, box number two, you're going to get some shears that are necessary for your IFAC. All right. The last item for the regular box for the month is a pin light. It's just a little pupil gauge on one side. It's it's a medic, uh, excuse me, a my medic branded pen light. It does have a little plastic sleeve, so you don't accidentally uh, actuate it. I love having a, a small little flashlight in my IFAX. Usually, I have the small streamlight micro stream. I think is what they're called in most of my IFAX. So having a little pupil light, perfect for what I need to do. Uh, one thing that wasn't listed on their their sheet for inclusion, but it did come with it. A sticker. It's a medic box sticker. Yeah, I know. You guys probably aren't, aren't excited. Okay. The last thing in the pro box is the guardian angel uh, wearable safety light. And I have one already out of the box. I've, I've had this one for a while. I use it quite a bit. It, it is a uh, magnetized, so you can magnet it to your car or something like that. If you're rendering aid on the side of the road, um, very, very bright. I mean, it hurts my eyes just staring at this thing. I shouldn't stare at it. Um, so there's a bunch of functions that it has. It has a button to, to uh, change the brightness. It has an SOS feature, which I think is pretty cool. S O S just a white and red flashing. There's a flashlight option. And again, you can change the brightness. So again, rechargeable, very cool addition to your IFAC. All right, guys. So that is it for month number one and month number two of the medic box subscription box. Now, as I said at the beginning, I'm a fan of these. I think it's great that everything that you get in the box is something that you would probably go out and buy if you were trying to build out an IFAC. Um, Unlike the other tactical subscription boxes I've had in the past where half of the stuff ended up in giveaways I, or it's, I've never used it. Um, so this is hugely beneficial in that everything that you need to build a proper IFAC is included in month one, month, month two, 
and looking forward to seeing what comes in month number three. But that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more content like this, more subscription boxes, let me know. Uh, if you have experience with Medic Box, comment down below. Let me know what you think about them. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. So Medic Box, ah, scratch, blah, blah.